natin na dishwasher. Uh, Nagde-decide talaga kami for maybe a month or so kung ano yung kukunin naming brand. Ang mga factors that we had to consider first is kung ano yung kasha dun sa aming kitchen counter. Kasi we live in a condo so medyo limited lang yung space. Second is dapat hindi na kailangan ng installation. Kung baga parang plug and play na lang siya. Ganun. Next would be kung ano yung makakapag deliver the soonest possible time. After all those considerations, uh, we settled with Toshiba Mini Dishwasher uh, kasi ito yung nakita namin na pasok dun sa mga criteria na sinet namin. We bought this online from Abensons kasi uh, siya yung pinaka nakita namin na okay yung presyo among all the others na nakita namin online, like even sa Lazada, ganon. So, we got this for uh, around 15,500. Yung ibang mga nakita namin online is around 16 to 19k. We felt na goodbye na siya, kaya ginonat namin siya. So, we placed our order noong September 8, around 10pm, mga gabi na rin yun. Kinabukasan, we already got a call na i-deliver na siya ng September 10. So, that's today. Today, ng around 9 a.m., na-deliver na siya. So, mabilis siya na na-deliver. So, yun. Super excited kami to try this out. So, let's open it. Okay, so now, we have taken the dishwasher out of its box. So, let's open uh, para makita natin kung anong nasa loob. The handle is here. Medyo magnetized siya here, so medyo kailangan na pull mo siya. We'll take out the tray. Let's remove this. Tignan natin kung anong kasama. Secured siya dito, syempre for transport para hindi umuga-uga. Let me just remove that. Ang nakita kong difference nitong unit na to or brand na to sa ibang dishwasher is that meron siyang ability to also clean fruits and vegetables. So that's why this unit has a fruit and vegetable tray. You can see here. This unit is also able na hindi gamitan ng inlet water hose. Ibig sabihin, we can put water here sa dishwasher just using uh, a pitcher. Ito na nga yun, may kasamang pitcher yung unit. Pwede siyang ilagay lang from the top of the unit, may inlet dito ng water. May kasama siyang pitcher na 1.8 liters. This is a drain hose na may kasamang suction para pag nilagay nyo sa sink or kahit sa pail, actually pwede ka mag-drain. Ito yung sinasabi ko na I probably won't use kasi mas gagamitin namin yung pitcher na kasama para hindi na hassle sa pagkabit tanggal when we're using the dishwasher kasi we also use the sink for other stuff na kailangang i-wash like kunwari, may malaki kaming pan na gagamitin, we have to wash that by hand. Ito naman yung lalagyan na ng mga spoon and fork uh, chopsticks, ganyan dito siya nakapwesto also, you can see na this part is adjustable kasi when you use it already kailangan mo siyang iset ng maayos because dito mo ilalagay yung mga plates mo inside naman, you can see the filter. Uh, merong filter for coarse items. But, of course, you have to make sure na kailangan mo nang tanggalin yung mga malalaking food particles from your plates. Ganyan. And meron pang main filter here. Which is itong may mga silver thing here na medyo malapad. Make sure na walang bababa ng mga food particles dun sa pinakaloob. And then, uh, itong lower sprayer arm na ito naman ito yung kung saan lalabas yung water but also meron din dito sa taas so yung water would be sprayed from um, two directions dito sa taas coming from the top tsaka dito sa bottom this one naman is ideally for wine glasses you can stop it here so yan may mga specific placements yung plates there's a guide naman sa manual kung paano dapat iset yung mga plato natin, yung mugs natin, yung glasses, para ma-ensure na malilinis ng maigay yung ating mga dirty dishes. 
So, dito naman sa cover ng dishwasher natin, there's this space here for your detergents. So, ideally, palagay dito 6 grams yung ideal na dami. Uh, so, I guess that's around mga 1 tablespoon or 1 teaspoon, ganyan, ng detergent na powder. You have to make sure na it's for dishwasher talaga. You can't just use any ordinary detergents. Kailangan... Para ma-maintain yung unit na gumagana ng maayos, you have to use uh, the proper dishwashing detergent. So, that's it. Sa inside, let's go look at the back. So, dito sa likod ng unit, meron lang tatlong significant parts. First is, of course, the power cord. This is 220 volts. This part naman is the water inlet slot. You can put here the hose that was provided if you want to use your faucet directly para malagyan ng water yung unit. If you don't want to use that, you can always use the pitcher instead and just put water from the top of the unit. So, ito naman is um, the drain hole. So, kailangan mo talaga tong tanggalin because dito lalabas yung dirty water coming from the dishwasher while it's cleaning. Papasok mo lang yung drain pipe that came with the unit. So, ito yun. You just have to set it up na, na mapapasok siya securely. Mamaya, i-set up natin yan, but it, it goes uh, here. Tapos, ito naman, you can place this sa uh, sink or actually kahit sa pail lang, gamitin yung suction para to keep that in place. Okay, so now, ikakabit na natin to Pipe and hose. So, sa side naman ng unit, there's this um, exhaust area kung saan lalabas yung heat coming from the unit while uh, it's being used. So, importante na hindi siya natatakpan when you're using it. When you put it in your counter, make sure walang nakablock sa kanya. Time na para lagyan natin ng water yung unit. I peel off muna natin tong covering. You have to peel this off to access the tank cap. So, ito yun. Pwede na natin i-on yung unit before natin lagyan ng water. Ito yung start button. Makikita nyo sa display na to na merong icon dito na faucet. So, that means insufficient ang water level. So, since bago pa yung unit, wala pang laman. Pupunuin natin ng tubig yung water tank and kapag napuno na, mag-beep and dapat mawala itong display na ito, yung faucet icon. So, let's try that. So, now pwede na natin lagyan ng water yung tank through the top lid. Okay, tumunog na siya. So, that means sufficient na yung water. So, kanina nakailaw yung display na may faucet na image. Pero ngayon, wala na. So, that means sufficient na yung laman ng water ng tank. And we can proceed to dishwashing. So, now ready na tayo na ipasok yung mga dirty dishes inside. Kailangan natin tandaan na sundin kung ano yung designated places kung saan dapat nandun yung iba-ibang dishes natin. Like for this one, itong side na to for the plates. So, itong right side, dapat yung front niya is facing left. And yung mga nasa left side na ilalagay natin should face right. Hindi naman kailangan na magbanlaw before natin ipasok ang mga plato sa dishwasher. Actually, itong mga ipapasok ko ngayon, some have been sort of rinsed. Pero nag-iwan tayo ng mga madumi talaga like this one just to test out kung gaano kalinis pagkatapos. So, itong part na to, pwede to for wine glass. So, let's try. Kailangan careful din tayo na mag, wag magdikit-dikit yung mga items. So, huwag natin i-overload yung dishwasher natin. Okay. 
yung mga items na ganito or knife, huwag natin ilalagay na patayong ganyan. Kailangan nasa baba lang siya. So, hanapan lang ng secure place. Tsaka, dapat hindi mag-overlap. So, ito, hiniwan din natin na madumi para makita natin kung malilinis siya. Lagyan lang natin siya dyan. Kailangan nasa taas yung eh, part na yan ng spoon. So, ito yung pinili namin na gamiting dishwashing detergent because ito yung brand na merong specifically for small dishwashers. Ito siya, maliit lang siya, and kasyang-kasya siya dito sa ating slot for the detergent. Pwede naman din na hindi parang tablet yung gamitin ninyo. Pwede din na detergent na powder, pero dapat yung specifically made for dishwashers. Hindi pwede any other regular powder. Dapat yung pang dishwasher talaga. So, here you can see na it fits. Okay? So, ready na tayo. So, you can see here yung mga different wash modes na pwede gamitin. So, for glass, 48 minutes. Normal, 1 hour and 55. And again, fruits, pwede gamitin yan sa fruits and vegetables, 12 minutes. Intensive for dirty pots and pans. And then, rapid, ito yung 29 minutes na I think is also commonly used kapag slightly dirty lang yung dishes. Meaning like, for in this case, medyo na pre-wash ko na din kasi yung ibang plates dito. So maybe we can use that. And then, there's also the echo mode, which I think is most na ginagamit ng karamihan. So, for now, we will try the rapid mode para makita natin kung ano yung magiging result ng ating wash. So, let's start! So, pag nag-deepen unit for 8 seconds, it means na tapos na yung wash program. Pwede na natin pindutin yung stop. And we can open the unit. Pero dapat, careful tayo because mainit pa siya. Remember, we used the rapid wash and therefore, wet pa yung mga hinugasan natin. Pero if you use the longer programs, magda-dry siya. So, this is the only program na basa pa yung mga hinugasan natin. So, let it stay muna for mga 15 minutes para hindi tayo mapaso dun sa mga hinugasan natin. So, i-check na natin kung nalinis ba ng maigi yung ating hinugasan. So, ayan. Kanina, ito yung talagang madumi na platito. Makikita nyo. Ayan. Malinis siya and shiny. Okay. So, ito. Tingnan naman natin ito bigger plate. Okay din siya. Walang, walang feeling ng oil or anything. Ito din. Okay naman. Check natin yung wine glass. Yun. Okay din. May konting watermarks, I guess, because wala siyang drying program. So, medyo dahil na iniwan ko na nahahanginan lang siya for a few minutes. Kaya siguro ganun. Okay. And then... Nalinis ba ang loob? Yes, okay naman. Okay. And this one. 
nalilinis din yung mop. Okay? So, overall, I think, okay naman siya. Um, nalilis ng maigi yung ating dirty dishes. And it only took 29 minutes. Easy din yung paggamit sa kanya. Kung baga parang plug and play na lang siya. Walang installation na kailangan gawin. And very, very convenient to use.